My dear friends, welcome to this a little recording where I want to inspire you. You know, as the habit dictates, we are here together and I'm really excited for you. I'm excited because you're venturing on this journey of resilience. And this is what today's topic is about, right? It's about how to really overcome and how to be strong despite obstacles. And really what helped me in my life is being myself, being authentic. And this is a huge topic. And I want to talk about it just a second, because I know you have your story. Many times in our life, we try to be somebody else. And in the initial part of my life, I really was focused on fitting in, pleasing others, because I come from a tough background in Eastern Europe, you know, growing up on a farm and I had to work hard. I had to really pave my way. I had to pay the bill, if you will. And that meant doing the hard work, doing the things that matter. And a lot of times for that, there was no way around hard work. And this is why I like this topic so much, because we live in this little bit, I would say, empowered world and world where, you know, people really expect easy things. And Jersey Gregorak, a little, <laughs> you know, saying that he's using it and he's an athlete from Poland, hard choices, easy life, easy choices, hard life. And I try to guide my life with this principle where I know that if I want to do my best, then I really need to focus on the things that matter in my life, which is really doing the hard work. And, you know, if you want to have grip on life, and this is what a lot of you probably out there, you recognize, you know, you come home in the evening, the kids are screaming, the dinner has to be put, you need to, or cooked and put on a table, you need to probably still exercise and you're all over the place and you feel really uncomfortable because you just didn't do all the things maybe invested in yourself. And that said, you know, a lot of times in life, we sometimes have this notion that we would like life to go a little bit better. And I, I really, that's just kind of where I want to come from. You know, my earlier life, I believed in this a lot because I thought, well, maybe I can be lucky. Maybe I can get around a little bit with my life. But in the end, you know, what I realized is that when I put my best foot forward, best things will happen. And I have here for you little three things that, you know, might help you. And you might see this in a different shapes and form. But if you haven't seen that, perhaps it's part of the course you're going through right now, the mastery body, mastering body, mind and life. And this is the earlier version. But if you sign up for the course, you will get also the ebook with it. And I would suggest you to start there because everything that I am about to talk about in the coming you know, weeks and months, and actually in this setting, it's really often comes down to how I think. And that comes down to principles. If your life has been a little bit out of whack, if you will, perhaps you haven't been really living principles. You haven't been really focusing on things that matter, which is, you know, how to really focus on yourself and having a grip at life, really, in the first instant, it's really about building energy and if you visit you know my website mateo melichar.co you will really quickly navigate to the link you know build energy or radiate energy and where you will see actually where me and my partner kate over the last years we have invested a lot of time in building energy in different ways and you know we both come from bodybuilding backgrounds so we both competed and learned a lot you know through different certifications and through different programs, we actually realized that if you want to live long, and that's my goal, you know, my ultimate goal is really to live long. And if you want to live long, you can shorten your life really quickly by stressing. And there is a great documentary on Netflix from Mr. Butner. I hope I'm not butchering the name. And I read his book as well about the blue zones. And then he studies these different zones and Okinawa and Costa Rica and Sardinia and Italy and, and you know in Greece and and it's amazing a lot of there's a lot of things that these kind of blue zones have in common from eating food to you know working physically to having a rich social life and 
above and beyond, they really just take care of themselves and they stress really less. They don't stress at all. If you look, there is this one lady from Okinawa and she basically at her, you know, before 100 or 100, she's basically laughing, playing little banjo. And this is what we see here, as I call the curse of the West, where people are stressing so much. And they don't have fun in their lives. They really, you feel that they work for money and in order to, if they get sick later, that they can pay for it. But that's in these blue zones, completely different things. So if you want to have grip at life and be resilient, what I really believe in, it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing to do, but we all have it in us. We all have it in ourselves. And one thing that I would, as I said, you know, <laughs> not to over promote, if you wanted a physical copy, which I'm actually going to be working on as well now in the other version, please let me know. I am more than happy to ship it to you, but you can get also the, the PDF. Another thing I would recommend you from Angela Duckworth is the book Grit. It helped me a lot to understand how you know to build really if you will and how angela puts it really why passion and resilience are the secrets to, su to success we all want to be successful to some extent right so you know in other words what angela says is unlock the key to success in this must read for anyone seeking to succeed pioneering psychologist angela Duckworth takes takes us on the eye-opening journey to discover the true qualities that lead to outstanding achievement and you know all of us have our own passions. Perhaps it's a job, perhaps it's our relationship, perhaps those are our kids and we have our way of living our best life. But a lot of times we need this constant reminder. We need this back and forth to remind ourselves that, you know, what we do in life can go really quickly away. And I don't want to scare anybody, but we know when we look around in Europe, when we look in Ukraine, when we look in Syria, when we look in, you know, North Korea and different parts of the world, like Pakistan, Israel, there is a war, there's active war. And we take our lives a lot for granted. And when, they, when we go back again to the blue zones, you know, everybody has their choice. People like those blue zones, they decided to live their life in a particular way. And I think as we live here in the West, we tend to hustle and rustle and stress and we want more and more. And it, it's not a wrong thing to want more and more. But what I really want to say, guys, is when we know that life can provide and give us everything what we ask for, and when we do our best each and every day, we can tap into this inner resilience. And, you know, one thing that I come back again is energy. So I really would recommend you to look into this really deeply. And there are a lot of books from, you know, different type of people from Andrew Huberman, you can listen to his podcast, to really studying Ben Greenfield, or, you know, Ben Pakowski, where I started and started really getting into bodybuilding and muscle movement. And I realize more and more, and if you would be looking in front of me, I have in front of me a vision board to remind myself what type of light I want to lead. And today's topic is really how to have grip at life and everybody is resilient. The thing is, throughout our lives, sometimes we lose this resilience just because we decided to live our life in a hectic way. And we used to perhaps listen more to our inner voice and inner you know, beliefs, how we should live our life. But instead, we decided to dictate our life by people, by circumstances, by economy. So I want to challenge you really to go back to the drawing board, back to your vision board and really remind yourself that it's as the third recommendation I have for you guys today that Carol Dweck says, it's all about mindset. It's all about how we can learn to fulfill our potential, you know, parenting, business, school, relationships. I really, you know, want you to, to think about your life a little bit bigger. And this is why I wrote this book, Mastering Body Life and uh, Body Mind and Life, because I believe in order to build energy, in order to have grip at life. And, you know, if you again go to my website, I split it into nice different things. So you have really the area for energy where me and my partner, uh, we currently actually pushing our boundaries as well, going through a free diving course. I'm going to go and actually, and at the end of this life to, to Costa Rica, to one of the blue zone part, 
and and want to challenge ourselves. So I I want to I want to really ch- tell you, please challenge yourself in your way. You don't have to you know do free diving. You don't have to do fitness, but to move. Everything about energy is a lot related to movement, to health. Then you have obviously the part which is related to managing your stress and how you manage your day-to-day life. It's a big topic for many of us, big topic. And I want you to focus on that as well. But also ultimately, the the last part is really the resilience, the grit. And there are different different kind of intricacies and different differences between the resilient and the grid. But in the end, you want to be a strong human being that lives long without pain, without be, without being sick, but having this rich life, having this abundance. So you don't have to anymore believe that, you know, you need to save a lot of money in order when you get sick. No, you can invest in yourself. You can build that energy today. So you can have grip. Just pick up these books Go to the website. If you need anything, please talk to me. I'm more than happy to help. But again, as I as I say always, guys, really energies for everything we need to accomplish in life. If you don't have energy, you will struggle. I can tell you, I can guarantee you. I've been there. I've been very, I know I was small, I was sick a lot until I realized, hey, maybe I can change that. Maybe I can look holistically. What do I need to do? Do I need to optimize my health? Do I need to optimize my energy? And this becomes confusing for people because they think, oh, I have to do all of this. Yes, you do. If you want to be a high performer and want to be amazing human being, it's not just this one thing that's going to do everything for you. Yes, there are some tricks and some shortcuts, but there is a lot of hard work when you knock on a door of opportunity. And there is a big opportunity because many people leave their potential on the table to in order to live awesome life. And, you know, awesome life seems like a, you know, cheesy expression. But in the end, it's really how you feel about different areas of your life and how much are you investing? Do you really, can you say right now on the scale of zero to 10 that you have grip at life, that your life is amazing? Can you say that really authentically, really truthfully? If... If yes, I really pat you on the shoulder. I give you a high five and congratulate you. You know, well done. So where can you go from there? Can you take it to the next level? What's waiting there for you? But, you know, 90% of people cannot answer that, honestly, because they know their, their life is not awesome. And it doesn't mean you need to be a millionaire. It means that you live every day purposefully. You live every day energetically and you live every day a resilient and strong life. So I want to invite you. I want to invite you to join me on this journey and and really focus on yourself. I hope this served you and this helped you. So I'm looking forward to see you around energetic. If we meet, please shake my hand, pat me on the shoulder and say, you know, I'm doing the energetic part of this equation. I'm really focusing on building the energy each and every day. It's a daily habit. So guys, stay awesome, stay resilient, and until the next time, stay legendary.